G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. A loser bum back in the house. It's been a while. Had a lovely Christmas holiday. Time off in the new year. I hope you had a good time. Lots of presents, lots of time with your friends and families. I know that I did. So, first video of 2020, and we got some awesome news. We have broken the barrier. We now have 20 subscribers, a whole 2-0 subscribers. That just happened recently. Next stop, 1 million. We're not doing small increments, we're doing big increments of surprise subscribers. So I want to welcome all our new guests here. Hope you like it. Promise to deliver some quality internet content on a sort of semi-regular basis to you all. Today's topic um, is something which, be, which I've been leading up to for a while. So you remember one of the last but one videos I was talking about Zork and other early text-based games. So these were text-only games which you did on a home computer uh, because there wasn't much graphics. You can see here the resolution is uh, atrocious, and, but you could still have some very exciting games by typing and interacting with your computer. Then on another very recent video just before the break, I was talking about the very early internet working speeds. These, this was even in my case before the actual internet. Remember, you're not allowed to say OK Boomer because I'm Generation X. So I started on acoustic coupler like the one down here and I had 300 board. Divide that by 8 and you have about 15 characters a second and you have the valid question, what the heck can you do with 15 characters a second? That's the topic for today's video and we might have a few more over the next days and weeks and months. So what we're going to talk about is mud, not the mixture of earth and water. No, nope, we're going to talk about mud and see, even Wikipedia, Wikipedia understands when I ask it about mud, I'm not asking about the brown stuff which sticks to the bottom of your shoes. I'm asking about a multi-user dunge dungeon. That's how I name it. Apparently later people called it multi-user dimensional domain, but that's rubbish. It's a dungeon and you'll see why. It's an interactive text-based game uh, with multiplayer um, and so, yeah, it's the, the great-grandfather of lots of things I've talked about in the past. Fortnite, what is it? It's a multiplayer online game. Well, nothing new under the sun. 30-ish years ago, actually more, 40-ish years ago, you could already play multi-user dungeons, and we're going to have a peek at those today. Now, um, yeah, let's actually, you know what? Let's dive right in there, because it's easier to show rather than tell. So the protocol this works off is Telnet. So in the olden days, you could have a, a Telnet kind of window where you would just type text. Here, I've made live a little bit easier for myself by downloading a a client for the MUD called MUDLET. It's free, link down in the description. And I've already pre-set up myself a um, user here for, um, um, or, or a, a, a session here for a MUD called Stick MUD. And I just realized I made a mistake. Bollocks, I'm going to have to pause. No, we're just going to go straight in. Hang on, does this hide the password? Yes, it hides the password. Because normally, if I were to start it now, you could see my password in plain text. Because one thing about Telnet, it's utterly unencrypted. So my username on this game is Loserbum. And my password is none of your business. It's not that. Let's hope I get it right. Uh, hope that saves. Connect. Yep, that worked. Um, I want to download the map. So here in the left-hand window, you have the um, the interface. In my day, we didn't even have color. It was black and white, and this is it. But it did remember my user, so I'm now the user, the player loser bum in this particular game. And this uh, Mudlet client gives you already a lot of functions which make life a, li a little bit easier. There's a map available. It's going to try and find the map because these worlds are very large. Uh, it's got lots of things to show me what my hit points are, how many spell points I have, how tired I am, etc. But um, let's say, um, let's have a bit of a look at what we have here. And it's already trying to help me. Just type I for inventory. So I'm going to type I. What am I carrying? The holy symbol of Seth and Tinkly, the fairy of enlightenment. So apparently I'm carrying a fairy. Fairy. So I found Tinkly. And Tinkly is like a little bot, which I've got in my inventory, which is teaching me how to uh, type the game. So I could type look. And it says, ah, light from surround, yada, yada, yada. The obvious exits are up and west. There's a big sign here. Well, let's read that sign. Read sign. 
The sign says, uh, Welcome to Stick Mud. The game I'm playing is called Stick Mud. You've already how learned how to look at it. Now interact. You can get items, you can kill, ita uh, kill other animals, you can um, go around the place, east and west, etc. So think of this as basically an online text-based Dungeons & Dragons game. Let me just look at myself. Look at me. I am Loserbum the half-elf. I'm a male half-elf, I'm in good shape, and there's nothing else. I think score is a thing which I can do here. Yep, here we go. This is going to give me, this is like my character sheet in Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons. I have this many hit points, spell points, experience points, I have no gold. I'm four minutes old, because yeah, I only created this profile a few minutes ago, etc, um, etc. Et now, uh, I know this, uh, and I'm in brave mode, which I don't want to be. Let me go into wimpy mode. 20. No. Wimpy. See, so you fail again. That's because I'm typing commands which it doesn't understand. Well, let's forget about that. Um, and let's just have a quick look around who is on this mud. Uh, well, there's a whole three players and two coder coders. So, um, yeah, there's, there's me. There's another guy. So you can see um, there's not a lot of people uh, here. These co-admins are, um, you, you know, they're like top level players. So there's only three people here, which is not a lot. And that's what happened, right? Uh, when I was playing this 30 years ago, this mud would have had 200, 300, 400 people on there all playing at the same time. You could interact, you could play a kill. Uh, now, of course, uh, people are all off playing their Fortnites and their PUBGs and whatever. Uh, only very old uh, guys are still on there. And as you can see, mo most of them are idle. They're not playing. But anyway, let's explore a bit. So let's look around where we are. Exit up and west. So what happens if I go up? I'm in the newbie park now. There's a big sign, and look, it's uh, uh, now it's found where I am. It's doing a map. So I can see here, it looks like I'm in a 5 by 7 newbie um a newbie area and you can see there's already some free equipment here free knives free shields so let's see what I'm, I'm just going to cheat and try to get all yep I've got two shields and two machetes so uh, wield machete yep now I am wielding the machete in one hand and I will say wear shield see it's telling me if I want to wield something I if I want to hold a weapon I wield it if I want to wear it I type wear so I'm wear shield so there is no shield here wheel uh, machete and a wear shield damn it yeah and now if I score I should have a slightly better armor class uh, and a slightly whatever. Anyway, let's go north and see if we can't find a... Okay, we've got a player. Look at player. This is a young player. He is in good shape. So good shape means he's at 100% um, help. So let's see if I can kill player. You strike the player. Yes, I'm hitting him. I graze him. He's trying to hit me. He's hit me on the arm. I'm only at 50. I lost a hit point. Look at player. I got him at slightly hurt, so he's already hurt a little bit. Yeah, and once I start, ki start killing him, I'll just keep hitting the entire time. Uh, let's look at player again. He is still slightly hurt. I'm down to 44 hit points. See here, it's showing me the health bar, but it's also showing it here on here. Uh, he throws a paintbrush at me. Is there anything? I strike him hard. He tickles me. I kickle him. Uh, kill player. Look at player. Slightly hurt. Looks like this is this guy's going to take a while to kill because I'm like level one and yeah, I'm not very strong. Ah, and we can see just because he's uh, hitting me so slowly, I'm actually healing up. So uh, it looks I can just like wait here to kill him because he's not he's hurting me more slowly than I'm automatically healing up again. So, yep, and that's what, that's a multi-user dungeon is what it is. You walk around just like in Dungeons & Dragons or elsewhere in Fortnite. What do you do? You walk around, you, lo you find a loot box. We didn't even need to look for a loot box. We found some weapons, we found a shield, now we found an enemy, we're here, we're killing him. In this case, it's even though it says player, he's actually an NPC, right? There are mods, and I suspect this is one, where you can set your mode to PvP, like what Fortnite is, so you can fight the other humans. And let's see how far we are. 
look at player. Not in good shape. Not in good shape usually means he's less than 50%, uh, but I'm also at 50% now. But uh, I just healed. See how I just said I was at 27, so it was exactly half hit points, but a little bit of time passed, so I healed back up to 40. So this is the newbie area. They've put enemies in there which are so weak that it's kind of hard to die. Dying in these things is annoying because you lose a level, and often doing a level... Um, takes a very long time. This is grinding. If you've played games like World of Warcraft, they didn't invent grinding. It all comes from multi-user dungeons. And I know way back from my days, so we're talking the 90s, people who had uh, internet at university, because that's the only place where you could get free permanent internet, they got addicted to this. Just like people today get addicted to Fortnite, or they get uh, addicted to Clash of Clans, or they get addicted to World of Warcraft, and like really are addicts. They will not take care of their families, they will lose their jobs. I know people who basically failed their university studies because they were playing too many of these games. He is in very bad shape. Very bad shape is good. That means we are, should be able to kill him soon. And there you see again, I was down to 13 hit points, so 25%, back up to 27. Yay! Ah, oh, this is awesome. Somebody's talking to me. So one of the co-admins co um, somebody is kicking a holy ass and taking names. So this guy noticed that I'm playing and is talking to me. Uh, now the only thing is, how do I talk to you? Uh, cook corpse? No. So hey, uh, you have collected enough experience to advance. Aha! Priest channel. Priest. See, so priests looks like it's a special radio channel where I can talk to other players. So I'm talking to this guy. That's what we did, right? Um, not Right, today you've all got your discords or whatever, which you can talk into, again, back there, no boomer, um, that's what we would do. Uh, and we would talk to each other, and this guy, who's like one of the co-admins, so he's one of the bosses on this server, noticed I'm playing, and... Um, yep, so I'm, I'm actually interactive. I am recording a video to show people what muds used to be like so Fortnite generation Okay, well, that was it. I mean, you know, he's going to be super nice. There's only five players. This place is almost, is like a museum, right? Or it's actually more like a, a historical, like a church, right? You know how big churches are today? There's room in there for 500 people. You walk in there and 99 times of, uh, out of 100, it's empty. There's only one guy there and he's like super happy to see you and he'll talk to you because religion used to be important. Now it's not. Muds used to be important. Now they're not. Uh, how? Yep, and um, see, he's already he wants to give me tips about using mudlet.
So <laughs> nowadays, Mudlet is a free, uh, free software. Back okay. then, we used to have to pay mo uh, money for a, uh, a client, a program like this, to connect to Mud. It's called ZMuch Mud, which had a lot of these things. And uh, we're probably, probably out of time to today for today. I don't want to make this super long, but you can see uh, all of these functions up here. You can do scripts, so you can automate things like killing people or attacking or healing. Later on, you like find stuff, you heal, and things like that, or the auto mapper, or you can uh, do triggers. Every time you see something, you do something, so things like that. Uh, and he's saying, um, yeah, one can say, this is kind of like the radio to the TV, theater of the mind. Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm probably going to cut off the... Oh, no, hang on. I can level up. What the, I see that's the other cool thing about a thing like this. A client, he will tell me... Uh, you have connected. You can do advanced levels. So by killing that one player, we got enough experience points. So we got 2,000 experience points. We can now advance a level. Advance level. So I'm now level team two, and I get some credits. And to advance to the next level, I need more. Hey, I can... Uh, oh, I can advance stats. Hang on. Help, advance, help, advance. It's, so this is the help text. Advance level, advance level, fly, ah, uh, advance stats. So what I probably want to do is advance my constitution and get more hit points. So advance stat con. Ha, I've now got, instead of con one, I've now got con two. Uh, See, and this is, we are so blessed, right? I mean, hang on, priest dot, that's how it used to work. Priest. No. Um, yep. Okay, that's, that's enough for today. I'm going to hit stop here. But what did we learn today? We learned that there were games, multi-user games, 30 years, 40 years before the Fortnite of today. These games were like today. You've got hit points, you've got shields, you've got enemies, you've got non-player characters, you've got uh, PvP, you've got some cool equipment and some not so cool. I have a, sh a wooden shield and a machete. If I played this for long enough, I could have the golden sword of whatever stuff and like one hit these gigantic monsters. There's missions in here. There's quests. It used to be really big. In fact, uh, that's the last thing I'll do. If you want, to, I'll put up a link in the description on how to get to Mudlet, right? I'll put the page where you can download it, and I'll show you this page, the Mud Connector. Uh, there are 627 MUDs listed. There used to be well over a thousand of these. These were free to play. People were programming these. These were not put out by Epic or Steam or other companies. Hackers just like used to program all of these. A Mud Light stick, stick Mud might have five, six, 7,000 rooms, thousands of enemies. People actually went in and coded all of this stuff because they understood the power of multi-user, the power of the internet. That's the start of our series on MUDs. That was the first video for 2020. You're all a bunch of bloody legends. I'm Loser Bum, you're the internet, and I am out of here.